Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finally start the main quest back to their origin. And hopefully... <laughs> No more side quests, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get at least one more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the main map and start the main mission. Oh, and while you're at it, has to oh. be a most... Clive, if you see me dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. Tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. We'll see. Uh -oh. So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Yote. I'm sorry. Your Grace, I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before, so just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. And you, you take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I'll be back. I promise. 
promise. I love you, Jill. I know. I love you too. Now, we have a god to kill. Here they come! Hold on, Joshua! Already am. He's going to make us a way in. So, this is Origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your Architect. There you are. 
was here that we slumbered, here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well, there's three of us and one of him. Let's make it count. Yeah. We will show you what it means to suffer. No, we'll show you! I think we're getting our asses kicked, boys.
yeah, right. No way we won. Like, we didn't even get any experience. No way we won. Liars. <laughs> And you only surrender, this unpleasantness could have been avoided. Rip Dion. I ask not for acceptance. No. Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. No, oh, I'll be all right. And Dion. I told you, I'll be... <coughs> Come on. 
Thank you. Press on. Always. I'm sorry about Dion. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. Not too sure we're going to make it out alive. <coughs> Should we stop? Because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. That light, so cold, so empty. We're close, aren't we? It, uh, seems that way. But I don't want to think what could be waiting for us in there. Then think instead of those waiting for us at home. This is the Nexus. A wellspring of life. <laughs> Yours and ours. As we watch the world stumble slowly to its dark end. It was here we pledged a new beginning. And now, with the ether we have harvested, I shall raise my kin from their eternal slumber. That together we may usher in a new age of reason. This was never about creation. Only self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death alone. Him. Alone. Clive. I think I understand. He... sacrificed their flesh to become beating hearts of crystal that pumped the land's lifeblood from the depths of the earth unto this very chamber. And thus would they labor still, long after their work was done, had you not set them free. You meant for us to destroy the mother crystals. It's what you wanted all along. You have our gratitude, Muthos. In this you have served us well. You have both served us well. Welcome home, brother. Joshua. <coughs> I thought uh, it 
was me. But it wasn't my grasp that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. Joshua! No! And now we can become one. of the destructive flames of Ifrit and the healing flames of the Phoenix. This, I once believed, would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. You remember the murals. People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. I have always been proud to call you my shield. But now, it is the world that needs you. Thank you, Clive, for being my brother.
Look at me. Look at me, Joshua. Open your eyes! Open your eyes, Damien! Why? Why did you do this? Joshua! Joshua! <laughs> and thus does the final piece fall into place. The incantation primed, but one task remains to empty the vessel. Still here with me to the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable. As we always have, and always will. On this, my sword I swear, to shield the Firebird's flame forevermore. You know nothing of magic. This is the work of my will. Already. Let's put on a strength tonic, stone skin tonic. Nice try. Countless centuries have I waited for this moment. 
this moment in which I might revel in my creation, only to find it profaned, and so, it must be cleansed. How is it that your will yet endures? Because it's not so easily broken. But it can be broken. And I shall see it so. For such is my will. Try it. Fuck you, Ultima. Why? What latent force feeds these flames? I sense more here than mere will. Is this Logos? Have you truly become... free? No. I forbid it. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. I created you, all of you. And what is mine is mine to destroy. Once, perhaps. But we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one! Have you learned nothing? Damned is the slave who would turn the scourge upon his master! Submit. Oh. 
This is a badass fight, though. Got some new tricks now. You cannot. <gasps> One nothing. The, your flames might consume mine. So eager. That really hurts.
Recreate. Finish him off right here. How? How is this possible? the blight exposed what you were weak you conceived us to prove otherwise but the result shook you to the core for in us you saw yourself and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be and so you turned your back on your creation your back on the world like the coward you are you think you know me you know nothing logos nothing Bathed in light, I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. But we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. Thunder roar! Nice try. My will be done. Holy shit. He ain't fucking around anymore. Yes, you will with that move. Holy shit. Let the tempest rage. Give ourselves a strength tonic. 
Damn, I barely put a dent in him. Gale's unrelenting. Garuda! How weird, Clive! That's my boy! No, mine is the altar at which you pray. Mine are the eyes that look down upon you all. And yet still you cannot see. You are no better than us. We are one and the same. We are not the same! 
No man might stand beside me. None. Oh my god. <laughs> I needed that. Yeah, we did, Clive. Witness thy creation. Whew. I think we need another uh, strength tonic and stone skin tonic. Nice try. Fire blades. Nice try. Too slow. No, my power. Garuda. Nice try. Nice try. Oh my god. That's on some bullshit. We are without equal. When all hope is burned away, naught will remain but ash. Oh, holy fuck a moly. I don't even know what to do for that one. <laughs> We're done for, everybody. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Let all be consumed. Nice try. Forevermore. So sure of your place atop the world, you refuse to acknowledge those below. You chose to remain alone. And so you shunned the one thing that could have made you stronger. Pushed away the hands that could have raised you higher. I do not need you. You are 
anyone. And that is where we are different. I could not have made it here on my own. I carry with me the hopes and dreams of my brothers, my sisters. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. I cannot! We're just gonna go ahead and put this on. In that. End. I am the end. Ramu. Give me thunder. Mortals. The world you seek is but a fantasy! The only fantasy here is yours. And we shall be its final witness. Never! I said... It's over! No experience? Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous with no experience for that. Do you imagine will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom? I honestly don't know. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Why? It's who we are. We fight, we survive, we endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon ever out of reach and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. My congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity on its blackened husk.
It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. For what I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, magic, consigned to the flames. Even if it means the end of me. Aren't you the most beautiful thing? He is, isn't he? What are you gonna call him? Let me see, let me see. Ah, oh, read little one. Got a smile for your Uncle Gav. Not so loud, you bird. What? I was only... Shh. You're scaring him. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> A sky of scattered tears A thousand years apart Should they fade I will not be afraid of the dark If you need a rest, I can take him 
I'll hold you to that. <laughs> The world's yours now. Yours to do with as you please. That's what Sid wanted. That's what they both wanted. journey end wow what a bitter sweet ending there i feel so bad for jill and clive gave so much and still lost his life in the end man really really powerful story in final fantasy 16 I'm going to let the credits roll, and I want to start by telling everybody thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every time. Will you light it? Yes, Mother. Come on. If only I had the flames for an icon. Icon? Have you been reading that silly story again? <laughs> Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil kettles. You see? Well done. Now, be a good lad, and play with your brother until supper. Come on, hurry, hurry! All right. Right, let's play the saint in the sectory. No, I don't want to be Madu. What do you want to play then? War of the Icons. Again? Well, all right. If I get to be a freak. Right, I'm the older brother. Because the hermit says so. <laughs> 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 <laughs>